everyone, in today's tutorial we're going to be learning how to make the woodland moose a plaque for my granny squares. So for this moose you're going to need to know how to make a magic ring, a single crochet, a half double crochet, a double crochet, a triple crochet, which is also known as a treble crochet, and this is all US terms. And we're also going to need to know how to do a foundation single crochet and a single crochet decrease. So for the mousse, I use this dark chocolate, it's loops and threads impeccable that I got from Michaels, and I also used a soft taupe. But for tutorial purposes, I'm going to be using um, this lighter brown color because it translates better through camera. And also you're going to need a G-sized hook, 4.0 millimeter, and scissors and a tapestry needle to sew in the ends when you're done. So we're going to start by using, well you're going to be using dark brown, I'm using this lighter brown color. You're going to start by doing a magic ring, chain one up, and then go ahead and make 12 single crochets into the magic ring. So once you have your 12 single crochets, go ahead and join to the first single crochet of that row. Make sure the circle is tight and then chain up one and then single crochet into the next three stitches. And now we're going to start to increase. So in the next three stitches, we're going to increase. So do two single crochets in the next space, two single crochets in the second space, and then two single crochets in the third space over. And then we're going to single crochet into the next three, just one single crochet into the next three stitches. And then again, we're going to increase in the next three stitches. So we're going to have two single crochets in that stitch, and then two more single crochets in the next stitch, and two more single crochets in that last stitch in the round. And then go ahead and join to the first single crochet in the round. So once you have that joined up, go ahead and chain one and then make six single crochets. In the next three spaces, we're going to do increases. So there will be two single crochets into each of the next three stitches. And now in the next six stitches, we're going to do one single crochet each. And now in the last three stitches, we're going to increase again. So we're going to have two single crochets into each of those last three stitches. And once you finish those increases, go ahead and join to the first single crochet of the round. For row number four, go ahead and chain up one. And all we're going to be doing in this row is single crocheting all around. And once you get to the end of the round, you should have 24 single crochets.
and go ahead and join to the first single crochet when you're done with that round. For row 5 we're going to chain up 1 and then in the next 7 stitches we're going to do single crochets. Once we have those seven crochets, in the next one we're going to do a half double crochet. And then in the next eight stitches, we're going to have two double crochets into each of those eight stitches. So in other words, you can say there is a double crochet increase in the next eight stitches. So once you have those done, just make sure you have eight stitches that have two double crochets into each of them. And then go ahead and do a half double crochet into the next space. And then we're going to be doing eight single crochets into the last eight spaces. So once you finish that round, go ahead and join to the first single crochet of that round. And round five is the last round for the head. So you can go ahead and fasten off. And we will be making the antlers and the ears separately. So this is what your head should be looking like so far. So for the antler portion, we're going to be using this tan color. This is soft taupe in Loops and Threads Impeccable. And you'll want to find where you joined off and count five spaces to the right. And that's where you're going to join this new color. And this is where we're going to be doing the foundation single crochets. So go ahead and chain up one to secure it. Insert your hook into the next stitch over. Yarn over, pull up a loop yarn over pull through one loop and then yarn over and pull through both loops and that makes the first foundation single crochet and then go ahead and keep making your foundation single crochets so you insert your hook into that one loop pull up a loop yarn over pull through one and yarn over pull through two that makes two foundation single crochets and we're going to want six total. So go ahead and make four more until you have a total of six. So once you have those six foundation single crochets, next you're going to chain up four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to make a treble crochet into that first foundation single crochet closest to us. Or closest to the hook, I should say. And then we're going to slip stitch into that same space we did the treble crochet. And that makes the first little point of the antler. So now we're going to do slip stitches into the next two foundation single crochets.
and in the next one we're going to do a single crochet and then we're going to chain up two do a double crochet into that same space and then we're also going to slip stitch back down into that same space to give us the second little nub of the antler and then we're going to slip stitch all the way back down to the head And once you do that, you can fasten off, and you'll see you have your first antler on the right side. So this is how your antler should be looking, and then we're going to be doing the same thing onto the left side of the head. So find where you join the head and count four spaces to the left and that's where we're going to be joining or attaching the tan colored yarn. So go ahead and attach the tan color. Chain up one to secure it. Insert your hook into the next stitch over. Pull up a loop. Yarn over pull through one loop and yarn over and pull through two loops and again that's going to be our first foundation single crochet so go ahead and make five more foundation single crochets for a total of six So this left antler is going to be a tiny bit different. Once we have the six foundation single crochets, we're going to turn our work before we do the chain four. Once we have the chain four, go ahead and triple crochet into that first single crochet nearest to the hook. and then do a slip stitch in the same space to make that first little nub. And then in the next two, do two slip stitches. And then in the next space, we're going to be doing a slip stitch, a chain two, and a double crochet into that same space and also another slip stitch down into that same space and that's going to make the second nub and then go ahead and slip stitch all the way back to the main head And once you're done with that, you can fasten off. And then you'll have your two antlers. You'll have to form them a little bit, and when you're sewing, you might want to pin them down just so they don't move a lot. So the last thing we're going to be doing is the ears, and those are going to go right under the antlers. So go ahead and grab your brown yarn again. Well, you'll be using dark brown. I'm using this lighter brown. And for the right ear, count two stitches down from the antler. One, two. And then attach your yarn there. Go ahead and chain up one to secure it. And then single crochet into that stitch and the next stitch. Chain up one, 
turn your work, and then we're just going to be doing a single crochet decrease. And then fasten off. And that's it for the right ear. And we're going to be doing the same thing on the other side. Go ahead and attach your yarn one space below the antler. Chain up one to secure it. Do a single crochet into that stitch and into the next stitch. Chain one, turn your work, and then we're going to be doing a single crochet decrease. Fasten off. And that makes your two ears. So now you'll have your mousse applique. And you can sew nostrils in if you'd like to. So thank you for watching. I really hope this tutorial helped you. I know I had a ton of questions about starting the antlers on the head. So hopefully you can see how I did that. And also I will be making more videos for this woodland afghan. So go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out.